Well, here we are with Max Crumb on the set of Fucking Up Everything, which is playing at the Electra Theater in New York City on West 43rd Street, 300 West 43rd Street. And we're going to start a little bit from the beginning. Okay. So who or what inspired you to be a performer? Oh, my gosh. Um, I guess you inspired me. <laughs> no, um, I had a very, like, interesting... Uh, let me start over. My family inspired me to be a performer. My dad is a director and owned a theater company when I was growing up. My mom is, like, a amazing performer, and I, like, watched them. And um, I really genuinely um, wanted to just, like, be on stage from a young age just because I feel like maybe that was the only way I also, like, could get my parents' attention. <laughs> But, like, um, the Muppets a lot. Um, like, Steve Martin, John Cleese, and, like, Will Smith, and probably Michael Jackson. Those are, like, my biggest. They're so random, but it's, like, I wanted to be, like, little bits of all of those things. It's a very eclectic yeah. um, <clears throat> bunch who influenced you. Mm -hmm. But yes. I like it. But it's lots. Lots of things. And, like, Lily Tomlin and Bette Midler mm -hmm. also. Just, like, that whole... I grew up with that very, like, I want to be in an 80s movie one day, but, like... Well, you still could be, because revivals are happening. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Or remakes, I should say. Films are right. remakes, yeah. We can call them revivals. Okay. So, you yeah, should have... those are my uh, inspirations, I guess. Awesome. My family. And who haven't you worked with that you would like to? Oh, my gosh. Uh, most, <laughs> most actors. <laughs> um, I would love to work with Emma Stone. She's, like, one of my best friends, and I, like, got to be an easy A, so that's fun. But, like, um, I would love to work with her and something. I'd love to work with, um, ooh, who else would I like to work with? I don't know. But also, like, theater-wise, I would love to work with Jeremy Jordan. He's, like, one of the, he's a good friend of mine. He's, like, the best performer I've ever seen live. Love him. Ashley Spencer, love her to death. I think she's so great. Um, anyone I was on the Grease reality TV show with, I would love to work with in, like, a musical. And, like, I mean, I just love, um, I'm so excited to like work with Jason Gote. I like think he's like so fun and um I would love Sun Foster, I'd love to work with her. I'd love to work with um uh, Gavin Creel or like mm. Bernadette Peters or Meryl Streep. Mm. Uh, anybody. I would like to work with anybody I haven't worked with cuz that's most actors. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good bunch you have there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, cool. definitely. And I just actually I just saw Jason on Sunday. He did a Bobby Cronin's Concrete yeah. Jungle CD release, so he's, he's great. So, so oh the gosh. two of you together in the show is going to be amazing. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. We're like, we're ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And bad. Mm -hmm. bad. Well, what attracted you to fucking up everything? Oh my gosh. When I remember I was um, rehearsing with, I, I have like a sketch comedy group that I started with like some of my really good friends. We were rehearsing. Um, and, uh, I got, like, a call or email from my agent, and I was, like, reading it, and I was like, wait a minute, you guys, you guys, this is, there's a new rock musical, and it's about, like, a guy who, like, does puppets, and it's, like, indie rock music, and it's crazy, and it's about Brooklyn, and I was like, this is, like, this is, like, my life. Like, puppets and all that, I mean, I don't know, I just was so excited that there was, like, a new, fun show with pu I mean I love puppets mm -hmm. I told you like the Muppets are my inspiration yes. like I I have four Muppets that I made at the I know at I the, think we need to have because I have a puppet too you do? I do did you make Hampton. it at the um, no I had a friend make it I took John Tartaglia's puppetry class back in 2005 you did? You, I did. see I love it was amazing we, I think we need to get a puppet date together yeah definitely awesome <laughs> we'll put on a little puppet show yeah that would be great come back and film it okay Let's do right. it. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, what do you identify most with about your character in fucking up everything? Um, I think I just identify with how honest Christian is. He's a very honest and just kind of straightforward person. I feel like I'm very the same way. Um, is that a good sentence? I'm that very, is. I'm very the same way. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just very, like, out there, honest. I will say what I think, sometimes, like, to a fault, probably. Um, and I'm just, like, all over the place and crazy, and I love puppets. There's really not much that, you know, differentiates us, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of am that character, you know. But I, I'd like to think I'm a little more, like, smooth, mm -hmm. or, like, have some game. You got game. Yeah. I can tell. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm, I'm really putting it on right now, so. No, definitely. Definitely. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Right. <laughs> so what, um, 
what do you hope audiences will come away with after seeing the show? I hope they will leave humming or singing the songs, just having a great time. I hope that they, like... Um, I, I, I just hope people just have, like, a great time and, like, love these characters because this is such a character-driven show that I really feel like different people are going to identify with different people from the show, and they're going to... This is, like, one of those shows where I feel, I feel like you are somebody on stage. Like, you're one of these characters, and you will leave feeling like, oh, you know what? Like, I learned a little bit about me in a way. I mean, I don't know, because, like, there is a clear message behind the show, which is, like, be yourself. Because it's like fucking up everything. Nobody's being who they are, and they fuck up everything. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I hope, you know, with, you know, with a little bit of sprinkled of be yourself, they had a good time. I think it's great that the show gives the message to be yourself because yeah. I think that's very important that people remember that. It's so easy to get caught up in what people think of you. That it's Absolutely. And the, your best work comes through when you're yourself. I, I think, think so. That's true. I, I also believe that. I mean, it's, it's so weird, too, because it's like a... It's not a hidden message by mm -hmm. any means in the show. It's very much like the audience will be like, oh, what are they doing? What is... Uh, and they'll, you'll be able to... It's one of those where, you know, the audience is sort of in on it, but all the characters are not. Mm. So the audience is sort of just like, these people are crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, but like That's also sexy. Mm. We like sexy. Yeah. So you're bringing sexy back? Yeah. Awesome, JT. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. Like back again. Right. Because that was like a long time ago. That was. That was. It'll be MC bringing sexy back. Yeah, bringing sexy back back. What do you enjoy most about working with this cast? <sighs> nothing. These people are the worst people I've ever worked with in my entire life. I can't even tell you about, like, how awful it is to come to work because I just can't stand any of them. And I just feel like none of them are around my age. None of them are cool. Like, we never hang out. And it just feels like, you know, at least there's the work. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm and glad it's a miserable experience really for like everything opposite of that. No, of course. Yeah. Of course. If you can't tell that you're being sarcastic, then... And you're like, should not watch this video. Exactly. Or like watch it. No, you should watch, watch it. Watch it again and then think about that. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Also, everyone's so talented. Everyone is ridiculously talented. I find myself sometimes on stage not focused because I'm like, oh, you're so good right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get a note about that. <laughs> how everyone's so good no they'll just be like Max you weren't paying attention I'll be like I know she was so good well it's good to get swept away by your co star by all of them yeah, yeah. Um, since the show is called Fucking Up Everything yes. if you feel comfortable what is the one thing or more than one thing that you have fucked up in your life and if you did fuck it up what did, how did you grow from that experience oh no um, I am trying to bring the heart into that answer just so you know. yeah no I, I can tell Probably this interview. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you fucked it up <laughs> royally. No, um, let's, what have I in my life? I have to think about this one for a second. Okay. And it's funny because I'm like, I'm such an actor. I'm like, I go to think, but I can only think about what I look like right now. <laughs> like, let me think. And it's just like, look cool. No, uh, let me see. Um, oh, Okay. I used to be in speech and debate uh -huh. when I was in high school, and I would, I would like, I was, I would do really well. And if you know what speech and debate is, it's real nerdy and fun. And I used to do this thing called humor interp. And um, I was in high school, and like I was like part of like a really good team, and we were going to like this awesome, like awesome competition. And I had this really good like. You know, I just had this really good story and this really good... Because I do humor interp, which is it's just all you. And you pop in and out of the different characters and tell an entire story. Mm -hmm. And the rules are it has to be like 10 minutes. You can't go over. You can't, you know, and you have to... They judge you. There's like people in a room and they judge you. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the night before, for some reason, I just... I drank the night before. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Sorry, Mom and Dad, but you guys probably knew. Um, but you probably didn't. <laughs> But, uh, well, they know now. They know now. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know, having so much fun. I was like, ooh, we're going to have this competition. It's so great. And then one of my friends was like, hey, like, 
the cool kids are all like popping these cough medicine pills too. So like have this. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like we're all so cool. And then I like, don't even remember that entire night. And then I woke up at like 6am cause I was supposed to get on a bus and I was still like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And like, it was my dad and like all my friends they were like, what are you doing? You're late. And I like got into my like suit and I was on the bus just like, Oh my God. Oh, uh. and it was such a big, important day. And I was napping like, because I was so tired because I was on cough medicine. And, like, I was just napping. Like, you know, I went and I did my first thing. And I did, like, 20 minutes. My story was 20 <laughs> minutes. So it was double the time. But it was so funny because I was crazy, I'm sure. And, like, I got, I got like, OT'd, which is, like, over time, over time, you know, for all of my, like, three things. So I didn't qualify at all. And I'd been, rehe I'd been rehearsing for, like, four months. And, like, all my friends were like, you ruined everything for our team. And I was just like, you guys... I have to throw up. Like, I was like, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but like, I have to get on the bus and go. Like, it was the it, So I'm pretty sure I like fucked that up for myself and for my team. It sounds that way. Yeah. I was a real team player. Yeah. Yeah. So now, well, how, guys, how did you grow from that experience? Did you learn just not? Well, I realized not to do drugs or drink as an underage kid mm -hmm. the night before you have to do something big. So you're saying that you no, could I'm drink or do drugs. drugs. I, have an old, I have a 12-year-old brother. Do not underage drink or do drugs um, at all. Or like even when you get old enough, Jack. That's a good message. It's good to give that out there.